Have you guys ever been ripped off by a company before? Well, today I have, and you know what? I'm gonna share, so stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks, and welcome back, everybody, to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry. Little Sally's our chihuahua. She's running around somewhere, but you'll see her sometime, usually at least at the end, where she likes to say good night. Anyway, you guys, it's not early. It is 12.45. Harry and I are doing a at least a 20-hour fast today because we boo-booed yesterday. We're just doing them, you know, as we go. Um, I'll share with everybody where we are with it. And she's ready as you said. We're already at the 18 hour mark, but I want to do 20. I've been reading and uh, I want to do some 20 and 24 hour fasts, you guys, to help get us down below, back down in the 170s, then back down into the 160s. I'd like to try a 48. You know, Harry and I did a 48 hour fast. What was it? Twice oh, it's a over. month. Yeah, it was long. But we did ago. it like twice a month. I'm wondering if we could do it. Do you want to try to do it today? No, I'm not ready yet. Okay. You, got, you got to work. You have up to work to your way up to that. But um, I've got to take some stuff. Mom needed a new toothbrush, and I've got some stuff from her. And then my son-in-law, Dave, who is Chalice's husband, had uh, shoulder surgery, and in that surgery, they found out that he had a hair a hairline fracture. Right. Yep. So we're gonna go visit him just for a little while today. But we uh, had black coffee this morning, and I'll bring this. We've got black iced coffee. Yep. Just the black iced coffee. Mine. Starbuckles. My our my ice maker is just a pain in my butt ski boo. It's driving me crazy. But this one I put mine because it was hot. So I've got it in my ice maker right now since the ice maker refuses to work the way I want it to. It makes ice. It's just well, a, it won't it come may, through that little hole. If it comes through, it half crunches it, half yeah. doesn't do it, gets stuck. Then you've got a million ice cubes falling through. It's driving me crazy. And you guys here in Arizona, you need ice. I need ice in my life. Yes, I do. So got to work around about that. So anyway, you guys, everything that you have to eat the day before, sometimes two days prior, have a direct effect on your weight. And you're going to go up and down even if you're perfectly, you know, eat everything that you know helps you lose weight and, and all of those things. Just women, hormone, water weight, the heat, you know, all of those things cause a little bit of a bump. But as you, you're not going to go, woo, right? Yep. Not downhill all the way gonna go up and down and straight across and down a little bit and yeah straight you do across. more you do more of this stuff than I do I and do. I do it too but not as much as you well do. I think men don't do it as well and I think men and it's been proven our superior our superior yeah Ooh. oh superior, did I say the wrong thing oh, I'm superior sorry superior in what way yeah huh? in what way you name that's it a, that's just a name just name something. no no Ooh, okay. Where was I now? I got all the women upset right now. And you keep it. Get you guys going in the morning. Okay. Anyway, what did we have to eat? Because I don't remember what I was going to say. Because Harrius interrupt us. Yes, indeed. It's my job. Yes, indeed. He likes keeping me on my toes. You Love notice? for me. Look, look what I'm wearing today. Some handsome man in my life got me these beautiful. Oh, you finally put some on, huh? Look at these, you guys. All the teacups moves. This one's the anchor, the little saucer, and then all the little cups. I got her some of her different color too, but yeah, this is the, I, I'll wear she those. She likes Alice in Wonderland. I so love this. Alice in Wonderland. So I got her Alice. Oh. And these look very Alice in Wonderlandy. We have it. There's a company that makes 
the black and white kind of Alice in Wonderland stuff over mm -hmm. in the Biltmore Fashion Square. There's a, they've got chairs and big beautiful pots and teapots and dishes. Of course, they have a big price tag on them too. Oh man, but, they're really but pricey. yeah, because everything's handmade. You well, know, they're beautiful the, and they're enameled. The I mean, they're enameled yeah. and everything else. But anyway, thank you, honey. I love them. Yes, I do. And I look to see, and they don't have earrings that match this cup. There are teacup and kettle, but I want it. I want. I, I'm. I want them to match exactly. Well, I looked for some. I want my. I, I want them, my and all, this little cup. All they had like was a clear cup with yeah, some no, stuff in have, it. Yeah, no, they have. They have cute of, ones, but that's not what yeah, I'm looking for. Right. I'm looking for like a, a black and white striped cup like that, like that. That to be my earring, right? Yeah. Or this to be my earring, like that. Yeah, See? That'd be cool. Something yeah. like that. But I, I'm very picky. And uh, I will yeah, find it. Yeah, she is very picky about the stuff she If anybody wears, can but... find it, I can find it. But yeah, I don't want the other kinds. I want the ones that actually go with this. Yeah. So one day I will find it and then I will be complete. Yes, indeed. Yeah. But until then, I just got my little gold hoops on. Just little gold hoops on. Anyway, you guys, where was I? Hmm. Everything that you eat. Right. I always said that. So let's go to what we had to eat. Here, you just get me going. I'm telling you, telling you. Okay, yesterday, you guys, we actually had a keto chow coffee first thing in the morning, which was an actual, uh, what? Turn. You, turn which way? Well, it go. looked terrible Tw yesterday. Towards the camera. Okay. We had a keto chow, and we used 14 ounces of coffee to make it in. And then we put it That's in the really refrigerator good. and it's absolutely delicious. Especially for here in sunny Arizona where it's super hot all the time. And it was cold and delicious. Then, you know, somebody we actually, had a, Wait a minute, somebody actually asked a question today. What? Is why are you guys so hot? No, why are you always hot? Well, because it's heck of hot here. And if you open the door and go outside for even five minutes to do something, you are instantly hot here, 113 degrees. Yeah. You know, it's and hot. it's supposed to get up to, I think, 115 today, somewhere around in there. So it is hot. If I you go outside, laugh. I laughing at that. I thought that was we funny. have a bird bath out back that we. That I bathe sure myself in quite often when, when it's hot. That the birds expect us to fell for them every day. Yeah, they we get have really a big mad. tin of water because there are feral cats around here. And um, we let them have the water and stuff out front. I make sure there's water out front for any animal or critter or bird or lizard that needs it yep. as well as out back. But yeah, so if I come in and I'm doing this, it's because I've been outside. Yep. Because it's heck, I have plants outside that have to be watered, you know, those kinds of things. Anyway, and we do keep our, our temperature between 77 and 80 in the house because the electricity is extremely expensive in the summertime as well anyway hamburger patty i made cheeseburgers you guys they were delicious oh, hamburger were so patty good. cheddar cheese Wish greens one of those, harry had iceberg lettuce i had alfalfa sprouts tablespoon of mayonnaise mustard mayonnaise ketchup pickles and then we went and saw downton abbey and we went out to dinner afterwards and we had beef tips Sorry. with sour cream horseradish and wings Naked wings. It was absolutely delicious. Don't know what the calorie content was. I didn't finish eating all of mine. I can't even remember if I had three. I think I only had three wings. Yeah, you didn't. I don't you, remember. You gave me two of yours. I so gave that two means of yours. You had three. I had three, and then I, I had half ten. of my beef tips because I've got beef tips. Left. I ate all my beef tips. I ate all my wings, including a couple of hers. And I have some beef tips left. Yep. There they are. So what we should do with this, ooh, I need to make some kind of sandwich or something for me. Too bad, Harry. What about so me? Sad. No, this is mine. It's mine. Well, it's been over 24 hours, right? Hey, so hey, that means it's could hey. be anybody's. So you know what? We can make omelets with that, with cheddar cheese and that beef. That would be delicious. Like right now? No, because we are fasting, young man. We are fasting. Anyway. How much longer? Long enough until it's done. 2.30, it's done at 20. It's almost one. You're, you're fine. You're not gonna blow. You're not gonna throw up gonna, and waste blow away, away and blow away. And everything's going like dark. A leaf. No, everything's not. going dark right now. I, I, I need some. 
you know? I stayed the same, which I'm very happy about. Harry went down four tenths, even eating that. So that means that those ribs, because I asked about the rib tips and um, the chicken wings. Um, at B -B Bobby Q's, B-O-B-B-Y-Q. If you guys ever come to Phoenix, Arizona, we, that's where we hang. We like that little restaurant. We like the meat that they have. It's a small restaurant, but there's uh, two in the area. And the one that we go to is on Camelback and 32nd Street in yep. the back of a strip mall. Yep. And that's where we go. And that's where we hang. And if you ever sh show up and you see us, you better come over and say hi. That's for sure. It's like if you ever seen me in Costco, you better come over and say hi too. Yes, indeed. And we have to, speaking of which, we need, there's a bunch of you guys in Phoenix, Arizona. And it is so hecka hot now, but we'd like to kind of do some kind of meet and greet. But you can't really do it outside right now because it's so hot. So if you guys have any ideas or if you guys want to coordinate a meet and greet in Arizona somewhere, I think that would be really cool, really fun. Um, we're going to be in Tombstone for Marty. Harry's birthday is the 9th of July. Dave, our son-in-law's, is the 10th. So we're going down to Tombstone and Bisbee. It's 20 degrees cooler down there because it's higher elevation. We're going down there in July for their birthdays for a couple days. So that's going to be really fun. But uh, let me know, you guys, because uh, until we get a motorhome and can travel, at least we can do something in Arizona. And, but I just don't know what. I've never been to one. I don't know what to do or how, what to expect. Or So you guys, give me some ideas. Give us some ideas. That would be awesome. Anyway, Harry, we've got till I think it's 2.30. Let me see. Let me see. I'm just so weak right now. 2.30 Lack of food. is our 20 hour goal right here. And I changed my app to zero, the zero app. And no, I don't pay for it. I don't pay for any of my apps. Well, you do for the one. Well, right? the card manager, yes, yeah. because of you. Because of you, it's all your fault because I have to get your stuff on with my stuff. So we share stuff, recipes and stuff. Okay. Yes, we do. Anyway, you guys, so we're having coffee. Got a lot to do today, and uh, we'll bring you guys with us well, some of as it, we yeah. go, and we'll see you guys in the next segment. Hey, everyone. Wow. We had our first kind of scary habu today. We have not been through a big habu um, since we moved here nine and a half years ago, but we had a big one, and my big daughter one. called us, and they've lost power, and you guys, it got up to 114 degrees here. Today. With the habu, which With means... the habu, there were several spots that are out in the SRP area. I don't know how you guys on are with the uh, uh, AS, what's the Arizona Salt River Project? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, but SRP, we had some blackouts. So my daughter's home, Felicia's home with her two old um, greyhounds. So anyway yeah crazy craziness harry's going to insert some pictures of that habu because it was absolutely crazy we put masks on because the dirt was coming in and we were being blown sideways and there were branches and pieces of things Stop flying yeah. across the street and everything else and it got dark yeah at like 4 15 because it was so we were so thick and it lasted a long way hey everybody we are going we're coming into a habu and that is where we have a huge dust storm and we if it gets too much thicker we're gonna have to pull over and uh, hucker down someplace we are past the 24 hour mark uh, the 20 hour mark for our um intermittent fasting i just want to make sure i'm driving in the right place plus this road is all messed up but yeah we're we're in the middle of a habu that's coming like the dust bowl, man. Here we go. It is so windy. We've got masks on because the dirt is so dangerous to breathe out here in the desert when you have a habu. So, even though we have our car inside only, you're still smelling dirt. Look how dark and black that is. That's a real... We're coming into a bad spot where we're up here. Ooh. Oh, look at that down. I'm getting pulled all over the road because it's really windy. You can't see the wind. I 
was surprised. We, we've been in a couple haboos, but it wasn't anything more than blowing dirt, but this was bad. This was bad. Yeah, you gotta watch it too, because if you get a strong enough one, it'll kind of screw up your paint. Right, so, yeah. right. And so you gotta watch where you're driving, because if it's a real sandy area, it'll pit your car. It's like sandblasting. Yeah. Oh, that's what I wanted to show everybody. Where's my phone? Hold, please. I'm back, you guys. We did a 24 hour fast. Yes, we did. We were going to do a 20 hour fast. We got caught in the habu, had a whole bunch of other things we were doing because my we went to see my mother, dropped off some things there, said hi to her, then went out to Chalice and Dave's house. And Dave yeah, about had, a, it's drawing? about an hour away. They're in Waddell. He had uh, surgery on his shoulder and then we, as we were leaving, the habu started. So yeah, it was crazy. It was craziness. So anyway, you guys, we did a 24 hour fast. So we're home and I am going to cook the chicken thighs that I bought the other day. Got these chicken thighs and I thought I'd cook them in my big red egg. Yes, indeed, here she is. And I am gonna put, I even cleaned it. He cleaned it. He was a good boy. I'll show you. But so Look here's, at that. Oh my here's the thing. You just take out the bottom. Yep. Just See? lifts right out. And then the juice and stuff is down below. Um, there's no mechanism here, so you can just submerge this whole thing and clean the whole thing. Well, I wouldn't, but uh, I would rather not do that. Right. You would rather. Because see all those holes? They hold water. Because it's kind of designed like our other one was. They have holes on the top there, and they hold water. So when you lift it up, it'll be water everywhere. So you got to really be careful with that. And Harry would know because he's the dishwasher. Oh, he finally calls sous me chef. by my real name. He's the dishwasher. He calls me a sous chef, which is like, what the? He's I don't make sauces. You're a. I'm not a saucier. <laughs> okay, I said sous chef. That's the helper to the master chef. Oh, is that what that is? And I am the master chef in the house. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's true. And I'm the grip and Unless gaffer. Unless you need a good bowl of steam. And you're the cameraman. If you want to eat a great bowl of steam, I'm the guy. That's right. Trust me. And he has burned more of these teapots than I can tell you. Yes, I have. I used to have beautiful enamel, hand-painted porcelain. Beautiful ones. But not anymore. No, because Harry would call me and go, another one bit the dust. And I knew what another one bit the dust meant. In Washington State, it was cold all the time. I that's, was drinking tea like crazy. Got the blue gloves on. That's why I like this, because it's got a timer on it. And I don't have to worry about it. And it's got a heat function. Now, I'm up to, uh, this, is, this is number 31. Okay. This is the 31st one. It's so far, no problems. Awesome. Anyway, I'm ready to go in to the chicken and we're going to make it delicious. We're going to go so, into the chicken I'm now. I'm going to go in right here, right here. In here to the chicken. Yes. Got to see this. Oh, that's why you're, That's why we hired you because of all the strength. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's making fun of me again. Puts Wonder Woman to shame. This that's one does. Right. Why did I do that? I do that all the time. I put my gloves on too Actually, soon. I call her Blunder Woman, but you know, other than that, she, she does Harry, you better be nice to me. Come over here. Come on. I'm over here, Mr. Cameraman. I'm taking these thighs and I'm putting them in. Look how many. What's the room you got in there? A lot. Doesn't look like you have that much room until you go to put stuff in the room and then yeah, it's then like it's this like... huge thing. Holy moly. I can't believe how many of these are going to fit. I'm going to do this. Tuck that in. Tuck that in. I think these are, almost every single one of these are going to fit in here. I don't think so. Oh, maybe so. I mean... you got to let some air flow in. Are you the cook? Shall I show you the movie? Are you the chef? Let the air flow around the chicken. That's right. These will shrink. Look at that, you guys. I am amazed. you got all that chicken Two, four, six, eight thighs. Eight. Wow. Eight thighs. Wow, wow, wow. Huh. I didn't think I'd be able to. I got like three in our other ones. Yeah, I know. I know. Or maybe, no, three. So you get, you get, you four, can get maybe. four if you had a smaller one. But. Wow. Okay, here's the deal. How many pounds of chicken did you just put in there? I have to ask 
to touch this. Blah, blah, blah. I just don't like the feel of chicken. It's all right. They don't like they don't like you filling them up either. Where'd it go, Harry? I don't know. You did something with it. There it is. Five point five two pounds Super. of chicken thighs went right here, you guys. Man, that's fabulous. If we had a family of five, that'd be awesome. Cook dinner all at once. I know, all right? right. I, it didn't, I didn't think it was that big, but it is. It's a nine and a half quart. Yeah. Our other one was a six. A lot of quarts. Yes, it is. A lot of quarts. Come see. Come see. Put some salt, seasoned salt. Mmm. Have to check this. Probably gonna have to flip it. It probably would do better, but I'm tired. And I was a little bit uh, tense in the car, driving with everything. Yeah, she drove. Yeah, and it was very tense. Because I had to hold the dog. Yeah, we had took Sally to visit her her uh, chalice. Now I'm going to put some smoked pepper. This is my poultry seasoning by Morton and Bassett. They're, they've ran out. I've got several jars in my back pantry, you guys. Trust me. When I heard did somebody they were going to go away, they did. Yes, absolutely. I wish I could remember everybody's name. I know, that's the hard part. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh this is going to be so good. Probably have to cook it longer than I normally would because I do have them together in yeah. close quarters. But the um, air is going to go around them. It's going to go through them. It's going to be perfect and delicious. So now I'm going to put that in and I'm going to see what the timer says for chicken. Right here. Chicken? Yes, right here. Poultry. 165 degrees. Poultry, chicken wings, tenders, nuggets. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do them the way I normally would do them. Yeah. I'm going to put them on. Oh, I keep forgetting this thing. Will it go off? Okay, I got a, this timer. The only thing I don't like is you guys cannot change it. When you do it, it will not. I tried pushing switch. down and turning. I tried pulling it and turning yeah, it. Yeah, it won't. It won't let you do it. Let me see if so it, it's I can release the, old, the timer. It's got an old spring type in there, then. Yeah, the timer, and you, it won't work without the timer. So if you're like me, just use your regular timer. I'm gonna cook them at 400 for 30 minutes. I'll check them at 20, and I'll use my um, thermometer for chicken. Always use the thermometer for chicken and pork. Hey, how come this isn't working? Is it plugged in? Yes. You got the door closed all the way? There you go. I'm learning. Yes, I am. Anyway, you guys, we're having chicken nuggets. Not chicken, chicken nuggets? nuggets. No. Chicken thighs. I just read chicken nuggets. How come they have chicken wings, chicken nuggets, and chicken? That's weird. Because people eat chicken wings and chicken nuggets. Yeah, well, how about chicken thighs or chicken breasts? And they eat those too. Well, chicken breasts aren't in here, and neither are chicken thighs. I'm telling you, look, right here. Well, maybe they're not. Right here. Tells you all across. Go look for something else. Okay, so I would match it. I would match it. Chicken. Look under chicken. Three. That is poultry. <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna do it for 30 minutes. That's what I would have done, and I'll check it and I'll temp it. So there's lots of cook there's lots of recipes in here too. Anyway, you guys, that is what we are gonna have for dinner as soon as they get cooked. And we'll come back halfway through and take it the easy. It's chicken time! It's chicken time! It's chicken thighs time. We're done? Smells delicious. They are done. Yeah. I tempted them. I tempted them. I tempt them. Tempted them? Did Was they it? get tempted? Let's tempt them right Come now. Come on out, you guys! <laughs> Come on out! Come on out! It's time! Oops, oh, excuse me. It. There we go. Woo! Ooh, yeah! That, you guys! I cannot wow. believe I got eight. And those are big chicken thighs. I mean, they're like, they're big chicken thighs. They're big chicken thighs. They are, as opposed to little chicken thighs. I've seen some inky dinky chicken thighs before. 
But these are crunchy. Look at those. Wow. Nice. Nice. I can't believe I cooked all eight chicken thighs in here. One time. At one time. Isn't that wild? That is like fantabulous. Are they even going to fit on my plate? Sally's excited. She says, I'll take chicken, Mama. I'll take some. I'll take some chicken. Yes. Wow. Wow, man. Look at that. Wow. Look at all that. I don't want, I don't want to, oh my goodness. I know. That is crazy. This is the big egg for sure, oh, man. Huh? For sure. Let me pick those up here. Excuse me. I got to put this over. Look at this. Woo! How many chicken thighs fit in your air fryer? Right, Let me on. know, you guys. Let me know. These are fabulous. Anyway, you guys, this is our dinner. Yes, it is. We're going to have a few. We'll weigh them, and then we'll weigh them after. We'll weigh the bones after so that we know exactly how much chicken we do eat. But I'm going to put these down here, you guys. Because I have never given a really negative review before on air. But I feel the need to do so about a clothing company that I ordered some clothing from to, and I just received today. None of the items that I bought looked anything like the pictures the way they fit on the models and uh, the sizes are off too. The I sizes think. are so crazy. I'm going to show you one example, just one, because I don't want to get over overboard or yeah, drawn we, we on don't it. Need a whole lot of, yeah. The challenge is they say they have a 30 back money guarantee, even in their instructions on how to do it. And then I get an email from them, you guys. First of all, for every single item, they want you to send a picture, a color picture JPEG, download it so they can see exactly what it is you don't like about their garment, their product. And then, uh, let me tell you this. The name of the company is Norcoa. Norcoa, there's an A here. I might as well take it off because I'm not gonna be getting, these aren't going back to China anytime soon. That's right. Well, anyway, it's an A. Norcoa, N-O-R-A-C-O-R-A, -O -R -A. do not, I recommend that you do not purchase anything from them. This was a different website and they've been coming out, I've been seeing them on Facebook, they're, they're plastering their ads everywhere and the things look beautiful and the prices are correct. This is a medium. This dress on the model, I am 5'9", everything is shorter on me right than the picture yep yep this on the model was was you know a little form fitting up here flowing down here hit right below the knees this is a medium <laughs> this is a medium i'm gonna go down let me see what that looks like this is a medium gunny sack. Yeah, guys. pretty much. This is a medium. I'm five nine. In the picture, this was this was cinched in here. This was up here. You know. Well, they did a tape Even job. The you know. Arm, look at the. I'm tall, you guys. It's crazy. I put it on. It looks like a gunny sack on, right? I bought a large jacket that comes, it comes to here. I, I can't get it past here. Can't get it past here. And the arms are up here. Seriously. And the material, leather jacket is what they call it. It's faux leather at best. So I go fill out the online things. Each one you have to do differently. You have to tell them each one and why. Then they want pictures of everything, which I'm not going to do. And then I get an email. They tell you you'll get your return labels within the next 24 to 48 hours. Let me read, let me read their email, the caption to this. Well, we received, 
you, you know, your items. So our return center is located in Gangzhou, China. According to our return policy, the customer is responsible for returning and the shipping costs and other related returns charges, including customs fees. Your refund will be processed after our return center receives and inspects the return package. Since international returns might result in a very long wait times and incur substantial return costs on your side, we recommend some alternate methods to resolve this issue. We would like to offer you a 15% cash refund for items in question as compensation instead of returning the item. Ah, that's what you get for dealing with a communist country, right? Right here. In big letters right here. Yep. And each item is going to cost you $10 to refund it plus it's going to be held up for several weeks, plus there's going to be uh, custom fees involved. It's going to take many, many weeks. And since I ordered five things, that's going to be uh, the, more than one of the blouses I even, $10 for each one, plus customs and all that stuff. Anyway, I would suggest you do not buy from M, from this guy, Norcoa, right here. Because seriously... I'm gonna show them the ja I'm gonna show them the leather jacket. Okay. Let me show you the leather jacket. Hold, please. Yeah, this is supposed to be leather, right? And this is supposed to be brown, and it's a large, large. If you guys look at this, it's not leather. It's like a pleather at best. And look at okay, there's the arm already, right? And if I always get a large so I can wear them over a jacket or a top or a sweater. There you go. Does that look like a large to you guys? A large petite? Stand maybe? back a little bit. No. Not at all. Not a little teeny weeny bit. And when I went to the site to return this one, it's changed to a final sale. You cannot return it. And that's not what I bought it for. The price on there for what I bought it for is not what I bought it for. So it's, I got little shrimp arms. You know, it doesn't say petite. It's not a petite. So this is a large. That big old momo is a medium, right? So whatever you buy based so on this the, company, yeah. you're going to keep it no matter what. It's going to be, yeah, no matter what. Yeah. They just stole the money. That's they stole they the money. This is not leather in any way, shape. It's material. It's pleather. I can see the material. And you got to It's woven pay to return it. pleather, not yeah, leather. That's wild. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. You know, and this is the first one I've ever had issues with. When you go on Amazon, yes, the sizing, because it's in China, usually they're small like this. They're never a big old mumu. Big old polka dot and moo moo dress that says. Medium. Me, but I feel like I'm wearing, like I'm a little girl and I'm wearing my mom's dress. And I mean, it's just, it's just huge. It's a huge, huge dress. And it's not even sewn right if you look at this. Look at the, look at the sewing. Follow the seam over here to this side too. See yeah. this stitching? Yeah. How poor it is? Yeah. Little string is shit all over the place. And it's it's just threaded wrong. And it's not even straight. Anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share that with everybody because you guys like you guys know me. I love clothes. And I've been getting some really cute clothes for really good deals through Amazon. And I guess if I'm going to order something from China, I need to go through Amazon. Because being a Prime member, at least I know they will help out. And customer satisfaction and ratings count a lot. So somebody from the Goodwill, because I'm giving these all to the Goodwill, will have some nice new clothes to wear. And this will make somebody very, very happy. Including that little plethora pleather jacket but it made me very unhappy so 
Do not get anything from Noracoa. Do not do it. Do not. Do not. Just saying, you guys. Anyway, you guys. Just had to share that with everybody because that just was very, very, um, yeah, very interesting. So, you guys, we're having chicken. The meat is rested. The birds are ready. Harry and I are going to sit down and we're going to have a Zevia and some chicken thighs for dinner. And probably Sally says she wants like a little piece of chicken, please, oh, Mom. Sure, she does. Please. Anyway, you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, <laughs> ring that little bell. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Say you want chicken? Do you like chicken? Tell her you want chicken. Come on over around here. Okay. One more chicken. Chicken.